so friends let me move on to the first question on the new pattern of coding and decoding so friends listen here friends first of all I have a glance at the question right so they are uh, coded by different symbols and also they are coding by a uh, different numbers right so each word is coded by three different ways so one is by symbol that is initially they are starting by a symbol and the ending is also coded by a symbol and at the center they are using a numbers right okay so friends my advice is you can initially concentrate on symbols or either numbers right but i used to concentrate only on the numbers right so friends just have a glance at the numbers friends 14 14 5 13 20 and 14 20 22 so we can definitely say that all the numbers are less than 26 if the numbers are less than 26 then we can definitely say that they will use either an alphabetical order or reverse alphabetical order if the numbers are less than 10 right less than 10 or 7 6 5 like that then i used to concentrate the number of letters and each word right if all the numbers are below 5 that is 0 2 3 4 like that then I used to concentrate on the vowels and also consonant right if, if you practice a lot then finding the logic behind the numbers will be so easy right so friends I think that they are using all the numbers that is less than 26 so I'm just going to concentrate only on alphabetical order or reverse alphabetical order right so friends here they are using 2 times 14 and 5 and 13 right I think 14 is for alphabetic according to alphabetical order 14 is for n right so n n and 5 will be e and i think 13 will be m right so 13 is for m okay first of all let me check whether uh, uh, friends listen here friends i think uh, n they have coded as 14 right so here i can see n here that is a uh, last second letter so similarly i can see n here and uh, here e is coded as 5 I think M is coded as 13. Friends, listen here, friends. They are coding our numbers by using the second letter from the last, right? So, this is N is coded as 14, right? So, similarly, here the last second letter, so N is coded as 14. And here, E is coded as 5 and M is coded as 13. I think this is the logic they are using for our numbers, right? So, friends, we know that T will be 20, right? So, E will be 5. Listen, I think they have, uh, yeah, here it is 20, right? So, I, we can definitely say that the gusto should be coded as at 20 plus. And similarly, unpaved, that is E should be coded as 5. And uh, D should be coded as 4, right? According to alphabetical order, D will be 4. And I will be, that is 9, right? So, we can say that I is coded as 9. Okay, friends. Similarly, I think they are using our numbers that is for uh, uh, second letter from the last, right? So, I think V will be, okay, V. 22 e that is 5 e that is 5 and c that is 3 okay so friends finally we have found how the numbers is coded and second thing we need to concentrate on the symbols right just have a glance what are all the symbols they are using friends one is percentage they are using a percentage symbol and a plus question mark equal to and uh, at okay and the ambassant okay and uh, they are using a star so then they are using a minus I think uh, percentage star at uh, copyright symbol is used right so copyright symbol and the slash okay these are the symbols they are using right okay so friends listen here friends we know that uh, 3 is coded as a 5 right we know that uh, E is, should be coded as 5 and they are using percentage initially and they are using a minus at the last right but in this case they are using minus at the beginning right so friends I think uh, Evident letter starts at E, right? So earning the word starts at a letter E and the three the word ends at a letter E I think they are using E as minus so we can definitely say that the code for E will be minus, right? So if they are coding E as minus here, then we can definitely say that T should be coded as percentage, right? So why because evident where T is coded as percentage so we can definitely say that percentage is used for T and uh, we know that supreme m is coded as 13 so we can definitely say that s should be coded as star and o should be coded as plus so s is coded as star right so s is coding as star and uh, plus is used for o right okay so plus is used for o so friends finally we have found that how they have uh, coded each word right so they are using first letter they are using a symbol Finally, we have found that how they are using a symbols right so symbols are used by using first and the last letter right so if it is t they are using a percentage if it is o they are using a plus so similarly we need to find the remaining symbols i think here we can see two times question mark here so i think uh, the word should i think r right two times the word ends with r right so i think they are using a question mark at the last so question mark that is for r 
so we can say this for r right okay then equal to right so i think here we can find two times equal to and we know that n will be uh, 14 and i think uh, so next will be k right so k will be 11 then t will be 20 and uh, c will be not 3 and they are coding this not 3 we know that monaco will be not 3 so we can definitely say that o will be coded as plus and m is coded as ampersand so we can say that this will be m and the remaining are copyright right so copyright symbol here we know that unpaved where the number is 5 right so alphabetical order e is 5 so we can definitely say that unpaved is coded as equal to 0 5 copyright so we can definitely say that u will be equal to so u is coded as equal to and uh, d should be coded as copyright symbol right so d should be coded as okay so remaining two symbol that is at and slash right so here at 20 percentage we know that uh, gesto should be coded as at 20 plus and we already know that o is coded as plus so we can definitely say that g should be coded as at right so g is coded as at okay and only one symbol is remaining that is slash right so slash is used so i think slash is used only in this case right so where 22 i think uh, 22 that is for v right so we know that v will be according to alphabetical order v will be 22 so we can definitely say that a they are coding as slash so a is coded as slash right so uh, d is coded as copyright okay friends so friends finally we have found the pattern how they are coded so they are using a symbols for first and the last letter and they are using a numbers that is alphabetical order the second letter from the last so let me move on to all the five questions based on this pattern so friends let me move on to all the five questions so based on this pattern so we need to find what is the code for made usher and r market so gate sudoku and question number four will be anger and question number five will be same okay so friends we already know that each word is coded by three different ways initially i think starting and ending will be a symbol and the center will be a number right so we can definitely say that d will be coded as four and uh, e will be coded as five right so we can definitely say that this will be not four and this will be not five and uh, m and e right so m is coded as ambassador symbol and e will be minus and uh, u u will be equal to and r will be question mark so we can definitely say that option number c will be the answer right so question number two so r market right so we can definitely say that u and e it should be coded by an alphabetical order and we know that o is coded as plus and r is coded as question mark similarly m is coded as ambassador symbol and t will be coded as i think they are using t for percentage and uh, we need whether we need to check uh, whether it's in the options right so plus question mark and ambassador uh, percentage i think it's an option number a right okay there is an option none of these also so we need to concentrate here so we can say that e will be not 5 and uh, u will be 21 right so 21 so we can definitely say that option number a will be your answer right okay friends next question that is gate sudoku okay so we can say that g and e so g is coded as at and e is coded as minus s is coded as star and o is coded as plus so friends now we need to find the alphabetical order right so we already know that t will be 20 and the k will be 11 right so 20 and 11 so at 20 minus then uh, star 11 plus i think option number b will be your answer right so uh, this is an option number b so we can say that option number b will be your answer okay next will be anger right so we already know that a and r right so a should be coded as slash and r should be coded as question mark and e will be not five so slash not five question mark which is option number b will be your answer right so question number five so what is the code for sale i think uh, l will be 12 right so 12 we can directly say that option number d will be the answer okay s and e so minus 12 and we know that s is coded for star so star 12 minus so we can definitely say that option number d will be your answer so friends if you need to solve these types of question you should practice a lot minimum of 50 to 60 question so that you can easily find what are all the logics they are using in this uh, pattern